Welcome everybody. My name is Kara Whitaker. I work for Kokomo Solutions and today I'm going to showcase for you the vaccination management module on our COVID tracker app. Now the vaccine management module is just one piece, one enhancement, if you will, that we've recently added to the COVID tracker solution. And the COVID tracker solution is meant to do several things, but predominantly it is for uh, self-assessment, contact tracing, case management, emergency notifications, um, and now vaccine management. So you should be seeing uh, my cell phone on your screen at this point in time. And at the very bottom of this person's dashboard, I've logged in as myself, uh, at the very bottom is where that vaccination information is housed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus icon so that I can go ahead and enter in the vaccine as myself, as a user of the COVID tracker solution. Because my employer, for this example, um, has you know contacted Kokomo and we have set up this great solution for the employees, including myself, to utilize. And um, I am providing my employer with my vaccine results uh, voluntarily. Now I could choose to do it through the app, which is what I'm going to showcase for you at this time, but you also could send as an employee, I could also have sent it to my employer, my HR department or my supervisor who would forward it on to HR, I'm sure. And they could go ahead and add that information into the COVID tracker system on the web portal side. Um, but we're gonna walk through um, as if I, the user had, or the employee had done it on my own. So I'm gonna click this plus sign. And the first thing that you're gonna see is the uh, registration vaccination card section. And we need to fill out all of these parameters in order for our vaccine card to begin to show up on our COVID tracker app. And um, ultimately at the very top, the type and the result are always going to default to COVID-19 and administered. But if you were a healthcare professional and you were trying to document other types of uh, vaccinations, we can actually configure the system on the back end to include any other type of vaccination that you want to record or ask your employee to register. But um, given that COVID-19 is the hot topic, that's where we're focusing um, most of our um, registrations for. In addition to that, under results, there is administered, but if I click on that drop down, it will actually also provide me with the option of a booster. And so it's our understanding that the second shot for the COVID-19 vaccinations are in fact a booster. Um, however, there are other instances where you would receive a booster. So if you received, you know, um, an immunization shot when you were a child for chicken pox, but you found out later on as an adult that you needed a booster or for TB. Um, those are the use cases in which you would want to click on booster. But at this point in time, you know, we're maintaining those defaults there for COVID-19 and administered because more likely than not, our organizations and schools are going to be using it for this purpose. So the next um, piece I need to fill out here is the dose information. So if I click on that plus sign, I'm presented with fields that I need to fill in. I'm going to go ahead and um, type this information in. I know that I received the Pfizer vaccination and I'm looking at my vaccination card and filling in the manufacturer, the lot number of the, um, the vaccination vial that I received. And then what clinic site or what healthcare professional provided it uh, to me or administered it. So I'm just gonna say ABC clinic. And let's say that I received it on the 13th of March and I'm gonna hit save. Now I've come to a point where I can go ahead and attach my vaccination card, which I'm going to do so. So I'm going to pick um, a picture from my gallery. I need to allow the app to have access to my photos. I'm going to select it. And now I've added it as an attachment. At this point, I can go ahead and hit save down here at the very bottom. So in doing so, I've been um, notified with this pop-up message that my vaccination card has been received and successfully regist registered. And so now at the very bottom of my dashboard um, in my app, uh, registered under myself, meaning the employee, I can now see that I have received one of two doses of the Pfizer 
COVID-19 vaccination. And so if I had went and received my second dose, um, my second and last dose, I would go through this process all over again and add all of that information. Once I do that, um, this number down here would become two of two. But what's exciting about this particular um, card is that you can actually click on this, this tile. And so once I click on this tile, um, a bunch of information is presented. It's not only my first and last name, but that I was administered the first dose of the Pfizer shot lot number one, two, three, four, five, six on the 13th of March by ABC Clinic. It was posted as of the 15th of March, and there's this lovely QR code. Now the QR code is unique in that uh, when someone else with a camera or smart device um, actually hovers over that QR code, you'll be able to see a picture of my uh, vaccination card, the actual vaccination card. It's the same picture that I attached uh, when I was prompted um, back when I entered in the vaccination, um, uh, the first dose. So essentially the card that I added here under attachments would now populate for anybody uh, that scans that QR code. So what we're doing is we're trying to provide a uh, digital version of your vaccination card because it is, um, it is unrealistic to ask people to carry around a four by six postcard of their vaccine. And uh, so that's kind of that's kind of the pain point we're trying to resolve here. So if you were to add the vaccine card module to your existing COVID tracker solution, or perhaps purchase it this way, um, there would be a separate tab called vaccine card here on the left-hand menu pane. And when I click on that, I am um, presented with a table. And this table essentially is every single person that has either added the vaccination card to the app themselves or provided you um, their vaccine card to be added to the system. So let's go ahead and um, take a moment to try to add a second card uh, to myself, Kara Whitaker here. So I simply click on uh, the user or the employee or the student um, who already is populated in the system in that table. And I can actually add a second record here by clicking on this new button. Again, you know, you're gonna wanna stick with um, the information that is provided to you on that vaccine card um, for that second shot. I'll go ahead and say that I received the second dose today. Hit save and I would add a second attachment because again, the first attachment, the first picture that you uh, either uploaded from your phone or you attached here from the web portal is just going to be the first line item. And you're gonna to wanna to attach a second picture to provide that second line item, therefore the second dose. So I can go ahead and hit save and then go back to my vaccine card tab and you'll see that um, I have another record here. I have an additional record. And so ultimately what we're trying to do is we're trying to um, make sure that everybody that voluntarily provides you um, the vaccine card is being added into the system. And there is going to be some additional enhancements that you don't see here now with regards to exporting that information or essentially obtaining a report on the various um, bits of information, such as, you know, when did this person receive their second dose? Wouldn't it be nice to have a list, if you will, of all the employees that have received both um, their first and second dose, uh, and um, they are essentially fully vaccinated? And in addition to that, having even a report pulled for those that, you know, are still on the first dose unless of course they received that Johnson and Johnson shot. Um, so we are forever making uh, enhancements and evolving this, this module as time progresses. And as we learn more about some of the mandates and expectations, uh, HR departments and various organizations, organizations are experiencing. But if I wanted to add a brand new um, record, I would simply click on new. I could go ahead and find my user out of the system 
Um, so I'll go ahead and pick, I'll pick the parent. I'll pick a parent here, hit save. Again, it's similar in, um, in the style and the questions asked of you on the app where you're selecting the type, which is COVID-19, that it was administered. You're going to put two shots if it's you know, Pfizer, uh, one shot if it's Johnson & Johnson. And then again, go in and fill out all of these fields and um, hit the save button. Save, attach, choose to upload. I'll just take a, this screenshot, even though it's not exactly what I'm looking for and hit save. Okay, so it's really that simple. You're just essentially taking, you know, that picture of the employee, student, or staff member's card and um, entering the information in. Now, what other really cool features about the vaccine um, module that have kind of spilled over into the COVID tracker solution system is um, if you go under administration and you go into re under users, and if I were to select myself, say, and scroll down towards the bottom, I would be able to see that this particular user of the COVID tracker system has been, in fact, vaccinated. Um, and it would provide me with, you know, the post dates of the vaccine record. Um, and in addition to the users, you can actually go into case management. And this is really key in terms of contact tracing. Because if I had a case where somebody came down with COVID um, and I had went through that preliminary interview with that individual to find out who they may have come into contact with, I went ahead and added those individuals into our system. Our system will pick up the folks that have been vaccinated uh, from those that have not. And so if you've got somebody who's tested positive but may have not been vaccinated, um, but the people that they came into contact have been vaccinated, you know, this is going to play a key role in terms of um, your policy. It becomes your policy driver. What is your organization going to say and make a determination on when you've got those that are involved in that contact tracing piece that were exposed but have been vaccinated? So these are kind of the internal conversations that you'll have, um, but it's, it's invaluable information knowing who's been vaccinated and who hasn't, especially when you're in the process of creating a case. You're not having to go back into the vaccine card table, run an export, or even go through the list to find names. Um, it'll all pre-populate here as you add those users into a case. Um, because you have somebody who's tested positive. So uh, that in a nutshell uh, pretty much wraps up the vaccine module. Some of uh, the updates that we have on our roadmap are likely to come out even this week. And I would love the opportunity to show those to you further. If you have any questions, please contact Kokomo Solutions directly um, or um, your uh, point of contact. If there's somebody you're working with already, um, in our team.